What is up everyone, Win360 is here making a video review of the new Android 5.0 Lollipop updates for the Verizon Wireless LG G2. The LG G2 in its debut back in late 2013 was one of the best phones of its time. A year and a half later, the G2 is aging gracefully with a Snapdragon 800, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 1080p display. It still has very respectable specifications, even to this day. Now with the addition of Lollipop, the G2 literally feels like a brand new device. I got this update on Monday, March 30th, and Verizon, surprisingly, was actually the first carrier in the US to push out the Lollipop update for the G2, even ahead of the G3. So you can check out the update in the system update section in the settings and see if it's there. Other US carriers will most likely update their G2s as well very soon, hopefully following Verizon's lead. While we're in the settings, let's go ahead and see the lollipop animation that we've all come to love. About phone, software info, Android version 5.0.2. Tap it multiple times to activate the Easter egg. We have different colored lollipops and when you hold on to it, we get the Flappy Bird game. I'm pretty bad at it, as you can see. But anyways, a lot has changed with the update for the G2, as you can tell with the new user interface. We can start with the lock screen notifications. You can swipe them away, double tap to open, and of course we can quickly launch into apps straight from the lock screen as well like before. The new circular clock widget has been brought to the G2 as well and it looks really good. The navigation controls have been updated to the Android Lollipop style. Triangle for back, circle for home, square for multitasking, and also a menu button. So a little different than stock Android, but keep in mind that this has LG's skin on top. And of course, we can change the home button combinations in the settings like before. Uh, you can add a notification shortcut, cue slide, or quick memo, so extremely customizable. We also get an updated notifications area, which is a lot cleaner than the one before the update. We get toggles to turn on quick memo, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, etc. And you can also edit the type of settings you want to see in the notifications. And also sort the settings in the order that you want to see them in. We also have a brightness slider, a volume slider, which is very useful. Some other lollipop features we've seen in other devices are the priority notifications. You can go to the settings to set them up and after you press the volume key you can choose to have no interruptions, priority only, or allow all notifications. The ability to manage notifications for specific apps uh, is also present in this update when you go to the app manager. Smart Lock is integrated with this update as well. Let me set up a pattern real quick to demonstrate for you guys. We have devices, trusted devices, uh, trusted places, trusted faces, and also on body detections. So all these smart lock capabilities are here. We do also have the new recent apps screen with the card style multitasking function, so you can scroll through all your apps open recently. Screen pinning is also possible. You can click on the pin icon to pin the app. To unpin, we hold the back and the recent app buttons at the same time to unpin. We can also ask for the unlock pattern before unpinning for extra security. And that's really about it for all the new features. Overall, as you can probably tell, the UI has been redesigned significantly and we get a newer version of LG skin and also a newer version of Android. You can see hints of Lollipop throughout the operating system. For example, when you scroll to the end of a page in the settings, by, in the settings. Um, by the way, there's also a search function in, built in to help you quickly find the settings you need. And of course, you can also switch between list view and tab view. A lot of the system apps from LG, like the phone dialer, have all been updated with the material design, um, a new look similar to that of the G3. Sim same thing with the contacts app, calendar, updated weather widget, clock, etc. Most of them contain these floating action buttons were unique to Lollipop, so a lot of visual enhancements and, and also uh, also performance-wise performance too, since we I've found this phone to, to be slightly smoother than, than before uh, the update. Battery is about the same from I can tell, so overall I think it's a great update and you haven't uh, had any, and I haven't had any major issues with the update so far. This will be it for my review, let me know if you've gotten Lollipop yet for your LG G2 and 
What do you think of it? Would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Take care.